Alrighty, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick day trading recap for Weenie Wednesday. So, it was a pretty exciting morning today for uh, Weenie Trades. Uh, we started off with Roku, and Roku had a bearish close yesterday, closing near the low of the day. That usually means some follow through to the downside. However, today we gapped up, and since we gapped up, there's probably a lot of short sellers that were trapped, I was thinking. So I wanted to get an entry long on this. Along with the SPY, the SPY was gapping up and the SPY is ripping right now as we speak uh, during market hours. But back to Roku. So we had this little demand zone between here, 151 and 149. And I saw that we pulled down right off the open and I saw these nice long bottoming wicks. That means buyers are stepping up every time it comes to this level. So this is a great pattern because you have a super tight risk. You can just risk right off of that level. If buyers stepped up every time that it touched that level, the next time it touched that level, there will probably be less buyers and that's where you'd want to get out. So we entered right here at about 150.5 with a stop loss of 149.44. And we started really ripping. Like this one minute candle is a full, full percent, which on options contracts is just straight money. We didn't use a lot of capital today to get $183 in just about five minutes. But we had a contract right here and we added over this break of resistance and we came up and I, we were at 152.46 in one minute. So in two minutes, I'm up a crazy amount. And I was like, oh, might as well lock in some gains. I, that's why we add so that we can lock one in and then ride the next one. Then we came all the way back down and these contracts were pretty volatile. I mean, this one minute candle was probably about $60, $50. And so I was like, oh boy, this is a little bit more volatility than I'd like. So I, uh, as we pushed up, I took out my last contract at 153, which I knew 153 was going to be resistance based on the hourly chart over here. We, where was it? 153.48. Yeah, 153.50 area. I wanted to come up and get a good uh, liquidity zone for me to get filled. So Roku, nice trade. About five minutes, $183. That's definitely the pretty quick. Next trade of the day was Disney. So we were sniping our entries, sniping our exits. If you want to see the capital we used for Roku. So we used $476. Turned it into $659, $183. And Disney is our next trade. We used $150, just one contract. And we had a nice push up and we had this nice bull flag, but I was watching Roku at this time. So I should have caught this bull flag. Didn't really catch it. We pushed extended. We pushed up. Then we formed this other kind of flag consolidation area. And I went long right here at about 132.15. We got a nice volume spike as we're coming out of that triangle. Stop loss is about 131.44. That's about this previous breakout area should be support if it were to come. And it was this was just a peaceful trade. Nice push up, then pull back, and a nice push up to 133, and I hit my 2R target perfectly. So that was a nice $50 gain. And then um, for the swings, I am swinging Disney, and I am a little bit cautious on it, but we did hold 130. It was starting to look really ugly on the daily chart candle. It was starting to kind of pull down, but now it's turning green again, which is great to see. And our other swing trade that we did was Tesla. And Tesla, oh boy, this is this is going to be crazy. But um, we happened to get in before the breakout, right about here, um, 1494. 1494, so that right about here was my entry. Let's actually show the trades. And um, we're sitting good on this, and I want to hold Tesla for as long as I possibly can. Because the reason why Tesla is ripping today is not because... So many people are going out and buying and investing in it. It's because there are a lot of shorts trapped in Tesla. So, okay, yeah, right there, 1494.80. So if we go to the daily chart, we were talking about these two scenarios. We're either going to break down or we're going to break up. So let's clear this drawing set. And so we broke down a little bit and we were closed bearishly yesterday, similar to Roku, but then we gapped up today. You know, they're announcing the five to one stock split. So this one share of Tesla will be turned into five shares of Tesla if I decide to keep holding. Five shares of Tesla and a little over $300 a share since the market price is fifteen forty two. But Tesla, we could start seeing these an all-time high break. I mean, we're going to have a speed bump right about here at about sixteen seventy five, maybe 1700 But after that, it might have a small pullback maybe to 1600 
and then all time highs. Here we go. Watch the 2000 level and any other extension from there. So Tesla doing really well. Um, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to hold this, not, not going to sell, not selling. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. See ya.